what do you have to say about the churches who are fighting so hard mm. to be rem- to re- remain open when we're supposed mm. to be social distancing and, and and telling people that because they're covered in the blood of Christ, blood of Jesus, blood of Christ, that they'll be okay. Are we just ignoring science? Is it is it, do we because we are religious folks? Do we just throw science out the window? I, I kind of feel like we need to have a little bit of both. What do y'all think about this? I- so, Dr. Didi and and Pastor Kim, well, actually, and Jewel, you all are uh, either pastors right. or first ladies of ministries. I think you guys can really dig into that. Well, you know, the Bible says to obey the laws of the land, and so Absolutely. I I love my people enough that I immediately shut my doors just for the simple fact of it's wisdom, you know, and I have faith in God, but I also got brains and I also care for my people. So I don't, I, I absolutely look at them. I, I I quit following them on social media. I got so mad at them, you know, because mm-hmm. it's almost like you are putting your, your people out there because yeah. you don't want to close your doors because you're being stubborn. But right now this sickness is a lot worse than we think it is. It's not just the flu. And so with me, I shut my doors immediately. I have faith in God, but I ain't stupid. God gives us wisdom. God gives us common sense. And if if I would lose it, if I knew one of my people would have, would have contact, would would have gotten this and it would spread like wildfire because I wouldn't obey and be obedient to the laws of the land. So I absolutely disagree with that. And I quit following them on social media. There was a church in New York that, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Didi. Yeah, no, I was going to say, we did the same thing. We shut our doors immediately. What most people don't realize is the pastor stands in the pulpit. The people stand, sit next yes. to each other. And so he has enough faith to believe God for himself. But what about the people in the pew? Yes. And so we have to, like Kim says, we have to use the wisdom and knowing that we cannot allow the people to come in contact with each other. It's like, for what? And then we realize that a building is not the church. And that's where people get it all twisted. The building is not the church. We are the church. That's just a building. But you got pastors who want to have service because they know the people won't give if they don't come. (laughs) And that's a fact, Jack. There's something called Givelify, PayPal, Yes. Many yes. ways that we can get my pastor. My pastor was like, "See ya." Yeah. We want to be ya. He I, he took absolute precaution in doing mm-hmm. what we were supposed to do, and I'm glad he did because people yeah. who were congregating, even with small congregations, just to have like praise and worship singers in the back, and and they would preach. They got sick. They got you sick. Some of them passed. So it's. It's just, it's, oh, wow. it's not smart. You, you know, Claudia, I, this is a good example of why people need to understand their relationship with God is something between them and God also. I think that so many people rely on buildings and pastors and people when the real power is with you and God. And not saying that church is not important, but at times like this, when you're reading reports, like a, a, a church in New York, I think 16 or 17 of their uh, their members have died already, including the pastor, because oh, yeah. he wouldn't close the church pastors down. have died in New York. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's mm-hmm. like, when do you also think for yourself, too? Yeah. And I think, I don't know if I'd want to go to a church like that, you know, where the pastor didn't care. Right. It's, almost like, it's almost like he's dangling sin. What's the difference? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's almost yeah. like you're... You're, you're not leading them. I, I wouldn't. I, I probably wouldn't. And I that. think, too, and I think, too, not in defense of them, but I do think it's important. And this is why covenant relationships and divine connections are so important, because I think, honestly, some of those pastors probably thought, will I be in faith? I really thought I really think some of them were pure. Yeah, I I do too. All of them. I don't think all of them were just thinking about the dollar. I think some of them were honestly probably thinking if I don't have church, does that mean that I'm not a man of faith? And well, and we, and we, all, we and also it, think it's like the mark of the beast coming. And... Well, and I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I just think that they probably needed to have a conversation with somebody to help them walk through. Because at first, in the beginning, I didn't think it was as serious until time went by. And I was like, wait, this is really, like, really serious. And then of course, I was having church while this was going on. Uh, Not in the beginning, but once we heard they shut it down, we stopped because we had no choice. We had to. But my point is, is that 
I just want to make sure that we don't all just look at it from one perspective. That's true. Now, was there some churches that honestly, some pastors were thinking about the dollar? Absolutely. But I think there was another hand few that were just trying to be fighters, trying to be soldiers is all I'm saying. That's, that's okay. a good point. Yeah, but it requires, yeah, that's a good point. But it requires more faith, if you will, if you under, understand faith. It requires more faith to shut down than it does to keep that's going. Sure. That's I don't so think, but don't y'all think a lot of it is important. Y'all don't y'all think a lot of it? Don't y'all think a lot of it is we're looking in revelations and all of these, all of these people are saying, uh, we're in the end times and now we're gonna get the mark of the beast and they're telling us we can't have church. So we're going to the extreme. And I just, mm -hmm. and there I was know. also a pastor that, uh, I don't remember what church I have to look it up. That was asking for people's stimulus checks. And what I don't like about this, it seems like what? the people that are the poorest are the most like, you know, they really are very religious and they, they cling to their Bibles. They have a lot of faith, you know what I mean? And they're so easily manipulated because they don't have as much. And it's easy to manipulate folks like that, you know, and make them feel some kind of guilt. Like if you're not doing this and you know, you're, you're not uh, in good standing with God and you're doing something wrong. And I, I, I just can't stand how people that have that, that are faithful are, manipulated by greedy people the ones that are doing wrong not the good ones that have good intentions mm -hmm. i just think that's frustrating yeah. as an outsider looking in 